This video will cover the content editor inside of MyBay, uh, the Genzabar product. So um, once we go inside of MyBay, the pages that you're able to edit, you'll often see add a page at the bottom. So if I click on add a page, uh, it gives me the option to actually name the page. So uh, I just want to make sure that uh, you name it something that is relevant to what's going on. I'm just using this as stuff because uh, I'm using this as a uh, uh, example. But you want to name it something that is very specific to what you are adding. And I'm just going to show you the freeform content. Um, and then we actually start to create content in here. Um, and if I want, I can display a header for this element, or if this header is adequate, we don't even have to put anything in here. Um, but if I want to start adding content in here, and then uh, started adding some text, uh, inside of the, this is the WYSIWYG inside of my bay, and I can, I can select text and, and start to format it. Uh, inside of uh, MyBay, we have this great little thing called the Accessibility Checker. But if I click on this and check the accessibility, it says no issues detected. But really, if I wanted this to be a header for a screen reader, that would be an issue. So I need to make sure I format it correctly, right? So if I look under Formats and Headings, I can pick, let's say this is the heading at the top of the page, so I would say I want to make it a header 2 okay because I don't want it to be as large as the header one so I can also select my paragraph text and I need to make sure that I select the under blocks paragraph so that this is identified as a paragraph and this is identified as a header okay so we talked about copying and pasting from Microsoft Word inside of Blackboard last time this time is inside of my base so if I copy this text I bring it over here and I paste it, it automatically recognizes whether or not, uh, whether this is from Microsoft Word. Do I want to remove the formatting or keep the formatting? I want to remove the formatting. So again, we have the same problem uh, when we paste this. This is actually supposed to be a numbered list, but when we look at the actual source code or HTML, there is no numbered list there. It's just a number one. and. Um, that's not good for a screen reader. So what we want to do, we can just go ahead and delete that one for right now, then select this text and make it a numbered list. And so when we go back to look at the code, we see that this is actually a numbered list. Okay, so this is just a basic introduction to the content editor inside of MyBay. Once we're done with all of our edits, we're going to hit save and then that's going to save our page. Okay.